Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to continue working on the favorites viewer. Now before we get started I just want to say um, like I do in every single tutorial um, where I don't where I use a program that isn't made by me um, all the credit goes to the authors of beginning Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 um, and the authors are Theron Willis and Brian Newsom. They created this great program that I'm using um, to teach you guys um, some object-oriented programming techniques and I'm going to explain it to you um, in a lot of detail and you don't have to have the book yourself. So if you don't know what you see right here and you don't know what that is then you may want to move back to one of the previous tutorials. So we'll go ahead and let's create a for each loop that will process each line in our file. So we'll start off by typing for each and we're going to do we're going to use string line in string lines so basically what we're saying is for each of the lines in our array of lines so we've got our file and we split it up into separate lines for each line in there what do we want to do well we want to search for our URL so we can use a simple if statement so if string line dot starts with now this is pretty self-explanatory determines whether the beginning of the string instance mass it matches the specified string so if it starts with URL equals then what do we want to do we want to set URL equal to string line dot substring at index of four so and if this happens we just want to exit our for loop because we have found what we're looking for and we don't need to go through the rest of the for loop so what this does is it checks to see if the line starts with URL or URL equals and after URL equals it's going to contain uh, the URL of the website that's our favorite so what we do is we set URL which is a public variable um, it's a string we're going to set that equal to the line at substring and we start at index 4 so we have index 0 1 2 3 and start at index 4 so it's going to set our URL to the URL that we want and it's going to leave out URL equals right here because we're starting at index 4 now let's go ahead and we need to read the uh, the file or the um, data that's in the file I don't know how I forgot this in the last tutorial but we're going to set string data equal to my dot computer dot file system dot read all text and we're reading all the text from the file name which has been passed to this method so let's just enclose all of this in a try, bo try block so we're going to try and if for some reason we get an error in here let's go ahead and catch it now we're going to catch an error um, of type IO exception so if we get an error reading or writing or something um, then it's going to catch that so whenever we catch that we'll just show it so message box message box dot show ex dot message okay so now that we've created our um, web favorites class um, remember to put this line in right here that I forgot from the previous tutorial which basically reads the lines reads all the text of the file into string data so now what we need to do is we need to continue uh, by creating a, another class so we'll come over here to favorites viewer YouTube we'll right click and we will add a, another class now let me go ahead and shrink this down. Now this class is going to be called Web Favorite Collection. Now this is going to hold objects um, for each of our favorites that um, has been, that have been read from our computer. So what we need to do is type inherits collection base. Now it says provides the abstract base class for a strongly typed collection. So what this means is that it's a collection and we can store a bunch of objects in it now um, 
we're going to be storing objects of type web favorite. Now you said it, you saw it said um, strongly typed collection, and what it means by that is that you can only use a certain type of data in it, and it's whatever you specify. So whenever we inherit from collection base, we need to add some stuff to the class. So we need to add a method called add. So this is going to take an argument and we'll call it favorite as web favorite. So it's going to be of type web favorite, which is this class that we've created right here. So whenever they add, we want to add the item to the collection. So we'll just type list dot add favorite. Now you may be you may be wondering where we got list from. Well, list is what this class uses to store um, all of its items or its objects. Because it inherits from collection based, we can use list. So the list in this class is going to store all of our objects. Now we need to create a remove method. So public sub remove, and this is going to take an argument of an index. So we want to remove something at a certain index. So we'll type if index is greater than or equal to zero and index is less than count. You can see that count gets the number of elements contained in the collection base instance. So if it's less than the uh, number of items in our list, then we can go ahead and remove it. So the um, list starts at index zero and then it has a certain count. So if the index isn't outside of these bounds, then we can go ahead and type list dot remove. And this is going to take an argument. So we'll just type index. So now what we need to do is we need to come down below and sub and we'll type public read only property so we're making a read only property now here's something I just uh, realized the writers of this book have messed up they took an index for the argument of this but when they removed they removed they used remove and used an index and it will never find that because when it tries to remove it'll look at that number and be like well there's nothing in here um, with that value so we're not going to remove it so we need to use list.remove at index so we'll create a read only property called item and it's going to take an argument by val index as integer so whenever they access the item property they're going to have to put an index in as the integer and it's going to give them back um, the item at that index and we want to make it of type web favorite because this collection holds uh, a whole bunch of web favorite objects so what we want to do is we want to give them back an, uh, an item from our collection or our list um, based on what its index is so we want to return and we want to use C type because we're going to be converting um, object types so we'll type list dot item at index and we want to convert that to type web favorite. So what it does is it's going to return a value and it's going to take the value at in our list, which is our collection that we have for this class, at the item at the index of the index that they gave us. So let's say we've got a web favorite at index of 5 and it's equal to um, to YouTube. So it's going to get the item at index of 5 and it's going to be YouTube and it's going to convert that to type web favorite. Now because it's already a web favorite, we will have no problems with converting it to web favorite and it'll work just fine. So go ahead, put this code in if you haven't. Um, if you're confused with anything, leave it in the comments. Maybe somebody will be able to help you. Um, I might even be able to monitor the comments and see if people need help. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorial.